Hey guys, it's Janice. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a revised version of my popular Notion template for school. This template has a more school-centered dashboard, a revised course navigation with to-do lists, as well as an added Pomodoro timer and tracker. I'm going to walk you through the parts of the template. If you're new to Notion, my previous videos have more in-depth explanations of how to tweak it to your liking, so do check out those links in the description box below. So the dashboard has a very similar layout to the last template. On the left side, there is a new clock widget, a to-do list for the day, navigation to school, work, and expenses, quick links to each of your courses, and a progress and countdown widget. In the middle of the dashboard, we have a quote at the top that you can change, a weather widget with weekly forecasting, and a new daily check-in section that lets you outline your priorities for the day and what you want to complete by the end of the day. Below that, you have your assignment exam schedule that shows only the things that are due within the week, as well as things that are due within the next month. These are extracted from the main assignment and exam master schedule, which I will show you later. On the right side of the dashboard, we have some cute animated artwork embedded, a calendar widget, a random about me section just to personalize your dashboard a bit more, and some embedded YouTube study playlist videos. And that is what the dashboard looks like. So now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the school page. The school page is where you'll find the link to your master schedule. You will also find links to your courses, your to-do list for each course, as well as your weekly schedule. The weekly schedule runs from Monday to Sunday. You can easily fill in your course name, time, location, give it a color, and also embed a Zoom link if your lectures are online. To add to your schedule, you simply just click the plus sign and type in the information. The academic to-do list is a new addition to this version of my template where you have all your courses in a row and the corresponding to-do list under each one, which you obviously fill out yourself. So it's a nice way to just organize and sort your tasks so you know what you need to do for your classes. My favorite part about the to-do list is that the course heading is actually a link to the course page where you will find your syllabus, notes, learning objectives, grade calculator, exam prep tool, and the new Pomodoro tracker. But we're gonna delve into that later because we're gonna look at the master schedule first. The master schedule has been really helpful and effective for students who have used my past templates, or so I've heard, hence why I haven't changed any part of it because it's simple to use and it works. The master schedule essentially organizes all your deadlines by ascending date, and you can tag the task by what course it's for, what type of task it is, how much of your grade it's worth, and any notes that you might want to remind yourself of. I've also created multiple views for the master schedule so you can choose to view things from one class only or view only exams or assignments, whatever you like. You just have to make sure that your filter matches up with either the course tag or the task tag depending on what you want to see. My previous video does explain how to modify the filters to your needs so please refer to that for more instructions. Now let's head into the course page. The course page specifically stores the information for your course. As mentioned earlier, we have the syllabus, which you can copy and paste, learning objectives, which you can transform into checkboxes so you can check off as you meet each one, a grade calculator to keep track of your progress in the course, and now it has a giant embedded calculator widget so you can do on-screen calculations and fill in the numbers. Please change the grading scales and whatnot to match that of your course. We also have the exam prep, which is from the last template. It's just a way for you to keep track of topics that will be tested and any flashcards or diagrams or notes that you might want to do just to make sure you have all your bases covered. You can also label the topic as high, medium, or low priority, depending on how much of it will be tested or your level of knowledge on that topic. And then we have a new Pomodoro timer page, which includes a giant timer widget for you to study right then and there. The timer widget is actually quite handy. You can change the length of your Pomodoros and breaks and also turn on any ticking noises if you like to have that while focusing. And while you're studying, you can also track your Pomodoro progress in the table right below it. For the Pomodoro tracking table, you can enter your task, priority level, your start and end time, and then check off the number of Pomodoros you've completed. On the course page, we also have a table to organize all your lecture notes by week. 
Each topic is organized by lecture notes and review notes at the bottom, where you can do active recall by triggering the toggle function and filling in the text with either red, yellow, or green based on your ability to answer the question you wrote. To test yourself, you can simply just hide the answer by clicking the toggle. Of course, if you don't need to use active recall, then you can ignore this section. The last couple pages are straight from the dashboard and they're for more miscellaneous tracking. So for the work page, you can fill in any potential jobs you may be interested in and sort of weigh the pros and cons by creating and using tags that describe the advantages and disadvantages of the jobs. The last page is the expense page, which is a stock template from Notion to just track your spending if you do need to budget or you enjoy budgeting. So the costs of the items and whatnot just add up at the bottom of the table here and you can compare it to your monthly budget, which of course you set by yourself. So that's the gist of the template, now on to the widgets. Both the clock widget and calendar widget on the dashboard are from Widgetbox, which is a platform that offers an array of free customizable widgets. My personal favorite is the clock one because it reminds me so much of the popular screensaver that a lot of Mac users have. You can definitely customize the widgets to your liking, so if you guys want to switch it up, just make your own and once you're done, copy the link that it provides you, paste it into Notion, and then you'll have the option to embed it. And then you just play around with the size. The weather widget, life progress bar, and countdown widgets are from Indify, which I mentioned in my last video. Again, you can customize all of these to your liking, so if you have a certain color theme you want to stick with, then you can change the colors of all the widgets and then embed them again on the dashboard. So that's it for my Notion template. I hope you guys enjoy this version as much as you have the other ones. I'll leave the link to the template down below in the description box. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you guys next time.